I'm getting on to the 67 in a minute. It's Highway 67. And some people call it the Highway of Death. Yes, the Highway of Death. Because so many people have crashed on it, especially on motorcycles. It's It goes up at a steep grade. Some of the curves are pretty tight for 55 miles an hour is the speed limit. The lanes are a little narrow. The first time I went up on it, I went so slow, but I didn't care. I was like, I don't know what I'm doing. I can't do this. I can now. You're going to think this is odd, maybe some of you. And a lot of people are going to say, why do you even have a motorcycle? Why do you have a sport bike? But in my learning curve and trying to learn how to ride a motorcycle, I've actually thought to myself, please, let there be somebody in front of me who's going slow. I ride my own ride, whether it's slow or fast, whether I have a uh, cruiser or a sport bike, and it's my opinion for myself that I, in situations, needed to go slower and don't mind being behind a slow car. So, for anybody else out there who is new to riding or has been riding for three or four years like myself, um, I would like to hear from you if you've ever had that thought. I'm on this curvy road. I don't want to go very fast. Let there be a slow person in front of me. Have you ever, ever, even for you high, highly skilled riders, have you ever thought that in the very beginning when you were learning how to take curves, learning how to ride, trying your hardest to Some of you are just naturals. Some of us take a little bit longer to learn, and that's okay. But I'm out here willing to admit that it took me probably a year before I decided this is actually fun. Before I started writing, I was the type of person who never took a risk, never tried anything new never did anything that could possibly hurt me or kill me like this this sport can do and uh, so for me to learn how to ride a motorcycle that was a big step for me a big jump a huge money for a time where I had to really think hard and give myself kudos with every giant step forward that I made. And after I got the hang of it, the basics and it got better, then it was like, this is fun. And I really do enjoy this. And I can now explore areas all over uh, San Diego and other places and just have a blast. But I'm just putting it out there just to see if there's anybody else that might have had issues. And the very beginning, for me, it was just sheer terror, absolute terror. And uh, I think I made my heart skip a few beats extra the first time I went out on the road, the actual road, instead of in a parking lot. See, all these cars in front of me passed me going up the hill, and I don't care. I'm having a blast just being out here. Every time I can get out on the bike, I enjoy it. And I always say, why would you want to go fast on a road like this? Look at the scenery. It's gorgeous. Beautiful bottle. Huh. 
I'm going off-roading the dirt road with lots of ruts. I'm doing it, y'all. See, I'm getting out of my comfort zone. Although it's a pretty nice, nicely graded road, but dang, there's a lot of ruts. I'm not used to this. Oh my god. It's smoother over here. Hopefully nobody comes towards me. Yowza. Whoa. Oh! Oh man. I do not like this road. Boy, if there was a car coming towards me, I'd have problems. Because I'm on the complete wrong side of the road. 